Welcome back. And with me now is Susan McClay, who's over the Louisiana Museum Foundation, and Michael McKnight, Deputy Secretary of the Museums throughout Louisiana. Welcome. And uh, as we talk about the museums and where we were and where we are now, I know when we first took office, uh, the Cabildo had not had an exhibit in over 20 years. Uh, the floors were, were in horrible shape. The windows were leaking. And, and Michael, your team has done a great job at getting all the buildings uh, with little funding uh, and a great, great uh, maintenance team back not only uh, operable and secure in them, but, but in good enough shape to hold some great exhibits. Tell us a little bit about that and where you are in, in, um, in working on all those assets across the state. Sir, well, thank you. So state museums, we've been having budget problems, um, and COVID really highlighted those budget problems. With your guidance and your tutelage, you've given us the opportunity to make those collective corrections correct. So our museum buildings are getting up to par. We're fixing windows, fixing roofs, everything. Exhibits are coming up. With your, with your help, we, we thank you for that. Well, let me, let me highlight the uh, 300th anniversary of New Orleans. We had the King and Queen of Spain come visit the museum. That was pretty incredible. And then Miss Pontalba, who donated those buildings on Jackson Square to help fund the museum, we were able to invite her family and highlight her life and her contributions to the city and the museum. And, and I know through the foundation, Susan, that's part of the work you all do, is to come up with these new ideas and create opportunities to lure people there and highlight these great exhibits. Tell us a little bit about what you've done and what you're looking forward to doing uh, here in the foreseeable future. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, and we really enjoyed bringing the Baron and Baroness de Pontalba to New Orleans to be at the festivities when we opened that exhibit back in 2018. But now I have some exciting things to talk about. Um, there are two great exhibits pertinent to the Cabildo. The first one is up now. It's called A Century on Harmony Street, the Colmeyer Cabinet Makers of New Orleans. It has beautiful furniture in it, made, all handmade at a shop in New Orleans by a father and son team. Rupert Kohlmeyer Sr. and his son, Rupert Kohlmeyer Jr., is in his 80s, still making furniture. Wow. And then we have, uh, after that one comes down, uh, toward the end of uh, 2022, we'll be opening an exhibit on the art of Andrew Lamar Hopkins. He's a self-taught African-American artist who lives in New Orleans. He does these wonderful paintings of life in Creole, Louisiana in the late 18th into the 19th century. And this is going to give the museum an opportunity to bring beautiful furnishings and decorative arts from the collection storage facility out so that you'll see Andrew's paintings and then you'll see these items from the collections that actually are reflected in his paintings. And then we're really excited in um, February 1st, it will open to the public in the Presbyterian Rex, the 150th anniversary of the School of Design. Rex is the oldest still parading New Orleans Carnival organization. And it's going to be beautiful. There'll be um, costumes and jewelry and very rare documents and photographs. We even have collectors in Europe that we were able to purchase items for the museum. And I just want to also say the Museum Foundation loves working with you, Lieutenant Governor. Well, thank you. You have helped us bring, make these things possible and bring these things to life. Well, I know this exhibit for Rex is pretty incredible. I've gotten calls about it. Yeah. Things y'all are bringing from all over the world that mm -hmm. would never be seen uh, to New Orleans for this exhibit. Um, you know, we have been working a long time to try to bring this museum system up. One of the things we're looking at in doing a study uh, is what is the best way? And, and looking at the regions and the possibility of separating a New Orleans board, a Baton Rouge board, and a North Louisiana board. And having the Secretary of State put his museums in, we both have appointments to the board, and, and we hope to be able to do that so people in the region will support all those museums. Also, I agree that if we can do that, I would give up control and your boards would hire the director so they would feel more engaged. Something else we've done uh, as part of that, we've got over 400 museums in the state. They have no money for marketing. So we've been able to do a, a new website, mm -hmm. louisianamuseums.com. We're videoing every museum so we can have a site where we can promote every museum in Louisiana. That'll help drive tourists 
to every corner of the state to see those great smaller museums that don't get the financial support. Uh, we're going to help get them out on the market. So uh, thank you for all you do, Michael. Thank you for uh, what you're doing. And um, we're looking forward to exciting things in the museum system. Thank you.